Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we are talking about microbes and in particular, how to identify a product based on its labeling to see if it's worth your purchase or not. And I think this video is valuable because there is a ton of different products out there and this industry so far is relatively unscrutinized and it's not controlled in any way. And if I ever got big enough, I would definitely make a board, an unbiased board that actually go through look at these products and give you a good idea of whether or not they're worth your weight. I've been heavily critical of these products in the past. If you watched my video on the Mike's Mycorrhizal Fungi or the Pro Mix Mycorrhizal Fungi Mix, all that sort of stuff, I hit it pretty hard and I did slam it and I said it's kind of probably not worth your money. But I found a product that I approve of. Actually, I found two products. I just don't have the other one yet, but I have this one right now that I do enjoy and I do approve of. And if you guys are wondering, right now is actually the best time to purchase these products because it's still relatively cold outside. So these products will do fine freezing for the most part, especially when they have bacteria in them, which is what this one has along with mycorrhizal fungi. It's when it gets hot that these packets and what's in it don't do very well, um, which is important to note. So you'll notice on the backs of the package, it says, please store in a cool, dry area, avoid direct sunlight. So you can see why you probably don't want your Amazon packages coming in the mail in the middle of uh, June or July. So yeah, right now is the best time to purchase it. But the first one here is Micro Myco. I'm going to do a review when the other one gets in. I'll leave the link for it down below for right now. It's called Root Rescue. It kind of checks, checks off all the boxes of what I'm looking for in a microbe mix as well, except for it has more mycorrhizal fungi strains in it. It has 18 compared to this one that only has 11, no 12. This one has 12, but the other one has 18. So. I mean, you can see where, where I'm coming from there, but this one has other stuff in it that's just as valuable. So let's look over this package and what you can look for in other packets on the internet to see whether or not it's worth it. So, and you guys can always send me your requests for this stuff. I can review it, either just quickly look at it and then say yes or no in the comments as to whether or not it's worth it, or I can post on Instagram whether or not it's worth it. I'm not sure how many videos I wanna do on like all the different products, unless if there's one product in particular that you guys are going crazy for, such as liquid dirt, because you wanna make me go gray, or as some of you have told me, I'm gonna go white, not gray, because I'm a redhead. So anyways, I digress. First thing I'm looking for on the package, or one of the first things that stood out for me and didn't even know I was looking for until I found it, was this stamp here that says, member of the Americans uh, microbiology society. So that means that there is some checks and balances here. This has been looked at by actual microbiologists and given a bit of a stamp on it, which is actually pretty darn cool. So if you can get that on there, that obviously means that there has some reputation to the business. The th other thing that I found really interesting is that it has this 100% organic on the label. Now, I really like seeing this, not because, it, obviously it's not Omri, and that's why I like seeing this over Omri. So, just a quick side story here. Omri certifications when it comes to microbes aren't a thing. I used to work in this industry and I used to work in particular with rhizobacteria, which this one has four different species of. And one thing that really irritates me about the Armory Organic listing stuff is that it excludes rhizobacteria from its listings because there has to be low levels of radiation applied. And this is for your safety. Bacteria is dangerous. Microbes in general are actually pretty dangerous. I think we know that now after two years, but nonetheless, bacteria needs to be irradiated before you get it to make sure it doesn't harm you. Now this radiation is less than what a microwave would be, but because it's just radiation in general, Omri will not certify it, despite the fact that it's good for the soil. You try to figure that one out. But I worked in this industry, I literally worked with different species of rhizobacteria to st study which one, like which strain was the best basically for a company, so I can't say anything, it's NDAs. But nonetheless, 
it wasn't organic because it had to be irradiated. So this 100% organic stamp on it is literally all they can put on it because they had to irradiate this. I know they had to irradiate this because I had to irradiate mine. That's kind of cool. Now there are products that they do sell that do have the Omri stamp but they likely don't have, or I know they don't have, the species on here that would need to be irradiated. That's how they get the armor li listing on some, but not all, just to keep that in perspective. It doesn't mean it's a bad product, it just means that the organic system is kind of broken at times. And I said that before with humic acids. Here is what the front of the package looks like, but the back is the next part that we're interested in. So you'll see here on the corner, it says, CFUs. So you're probably wondering, what is CFU? It stands for Colony Forming Units. So before I lose you, that is the number of microbes in the bag. So obviously there's a carrier material in here. It's like a powder. But besides the powder, besides the carrier material, there is a certain number of colony forming units. And a lot of products are missing this meaning you could be getting five, 10, 50 colony forming units, or you could be actually getting what it's worth in colony forming units, such as this one that has 7.5 to the power of 10 colony forming units per gram. You can see where this one is actually trying to tell you we're not ripping you off. This is what's present in this product. So the next thing you're looking for besides the microbiology check, besides the organic listing, besides the CFUs per gram is the actual species within the product. So I've stressed this a number of different times is that endo and ectomycorrhizal fungi don't just willy nilly form symbiosis with all the plants under the sun. Certain species are meant for certain plants, meaning diversity is key. And this product has endo and ectomycorrhizal species. And within the endomycorrhizal species, there's four. Within the ectomycorrhizal species, there is seven. And I've done a video on endo versus ecto, so go check that video out. It's an older video, so maybe the quality is not as good visually, but the information is there. The other thing that this product has is four species of rhizobacteria. So if you're growing legumes, you can thank me later. So that's peas, beans, scarlet runners, um, the sensitivity plants, technically anything in the legume family. If you use this, you will see unbelievable results. It's going to increase your yields tenfold because rhizobacteria actually nitrogen fixes. This has four species in it, so it's more likely to fall, um, form a symbiosis. And rhizobacteria plays a role just in house plants and regular plants that aren't legumes as well. So this one has four different species in it. The other product that I used to promote was McKenzie's, and that was because they're just an early adopter option. So they did list CFUs on the McKenzie's, but they only listed one species. That species they used worked very, very nicely but um, this one has four, so this is my new choice. <laughs> and like I said, this can be seed placed or um, it can be dry placed, which is what I'm doing. So this product here is waiting until I bump up so I don't add this stuff to my seed starting. I will wait until I bump my plants up and I'm gonna do a dry dip. I'll show you what that, I'll do a video on what that looks like and then I'm gonna transplant that way. You can also wet water this, yeah. Yeah, so there's two different, yeah, so there's two different applications. They actually give you the application on here. So I'm gonna dry apply, but you can obviously do water suspended as well. And then there are just three different types of trichodermas in here, which are just general uh, beneficial fungi that are just gonna help in solubilizing and mineralizing different types of soil nutrients, such as sulfur, calcium, magnesium, you name it. So, this is very, very cool. What you're looking for, just in summary, is this is a bonus. If it's been checked out by some sort of microbiology group, you're looking for the CFUs, you're looking for a wine diversity in range as to what is in there, and then you want to purchase this when it's still relatively cool outdoors. So, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you as a consumer choose products that are best for you so you don't get ripped off because that's the important part, right guys? 
I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and like I said, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite uh, microbiology pack is, um, and I'll let you know whether or not it's worth the money. If I get another enough requests for like a specific type, then I will for sure do a video on that. I already know that Dimnico one I'm going to get requests on because everyone asks about Dimnico. So I'll have to do a video on that one, I guess. But I wanted to show you that one because that one's really, really cool. And Root Rescue. Root Rescue is the other one if you're looking strictly for mycos. So anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.